Mari. Mari, you want a bath? You want to have a bath? With lots of treats? With snacks? Yeah? Of course I brought the snacks. Hey babies, you guys ready for your bath? It's overdue. We went camping. We were out for a week in all kinds of different environments. Oh my God, Titus, you're that tired? Really? Really? Yuna? You wanna have a bath, Yuna? And this is what it's like to have huskies and this is considered pretty clean. But yeah, when you live with huskies, just embrace the fur. <laughs> embrace all the hair everywhere in the car. In your nose, in your hair. In your coffee. In your lungs. <laughs> exactly. Titus, you want a bath? Yeah, with snacks? Mari, you too? It's super important to have a calm environment before you do anything. That's why you see JC making him lay down and relax all the way, see? And he's gonna make sure that they stay that way. Try to stay. When you create a calm environment, they stay calm and you have a much better experience in anything you do. We wouldn't do this, they would go crazy. Good girl. Uh, Okay guys, so one of the most important things to remember before you do anything with your pup that requires your attention, their good behavior, is to make sure they already have their exercise needs for the day. In this case, Titus, Kimari and Yuna already had their workout for the day even though it's raining outside. They still had their exercise so they feel good, relaxed and now we can get on with the bath. So here I'm putting on an apron. If the location that you're going to doesn't have that, I highly recommend that you buy it. It's something that keeps you waterproof and I'm also wearing a rain jacket and rubber boots. It's perfect. And here we go, we're making sure the, the squad is calm, relaxed, they're listening to us and we're prepping for their bath. There's dogs around, there's lots of people around, but they are behaving really, really well because we're consistent with their training. Okay, so here are the tools we bring from home. The pin brush, the zoom groom, the slicker brush, and a small towel too, sometimes for the face. Everything else, the big towels, the hypoallergenic shampoo, face wash and conditioner, which has been diluted in big bottles of water, is provided by the location most of the time. Okay, so here we're starting with a pin brush. That is meant for detangling any possible knots or anything that's stuck. So later on in the process, it doesn't hurt when you go through the grooming because you want to make sure it doesn't hurt so it remains a good experience and you just go in the direction of the coat, you brush it till it's all detangled. And remember, affection, treats, smiles, feeling good, feeling happy really makes this experience so much more positive than rushing through the process. Here we're using room temperature water, not hot water because, not even warm because huskies don't like to be hot. So we use room temperature water coupled with treats, coupled with affection, with good vibes, good feelings, and they really enjoy the experience so much more. The girl are still chilling, still relaxing. It's perfect. I just go back to check sometimes to reinforce that positive behavior. Wetting a coat thoroughly of a husky could take some time, but you want to do that because the next step is shampooing. This is a big bottle of water with a bit of shampoo that's been diluted and we pour it all over, massaging the coat thoroughly throughout the whole body. It's so much better than using a little bit of shampoo in your hands and then trying to battle it with the water. If you're doing this at home, I highly recommend to take a big bottle and put a little bit of shampoo in there and then wetting it this way, it makes it so much easier. 
So the next thing we do is the Zoom Groom. This is so much magic, seriously, you guys. The Zoom Groom is amazing. It feels so good on them. They really love it. It's like a massage on their coat, but it really gets all that dirt out. It's seriously magic. You start by doing it in the proper direction, just the direction of the coat, and then you can go back and forth, and they really, really like it. They love it at home. They love it here when they have their bath. So this is a perfect tool to really get all that dirt out. You're going to be amazed at what this brush does. It's fantastic. This is the Zoom Groom. I'll leave a link below to all the tools that we use so you can check that out. But this Zoom Groom is seriously magic, you guys. Okay, after that, you want to thoroughly rinse the coat. When I say thoroughly, I mean it. You don't want any shampoo left over at that point thoroughly thoroughly wash every spot the belly don't forget every location needs to be washed properly okay so the next step is the conditioner that's also been diluted in a big bottle of water Pour it everywhere on the coat and massage it thoroughly everywhere, just like we did with the shampoo before. So go through it thoroughly. After that, we're going to be using the slicker brush that is going to take so much of the hair out. But before we go into that, I just want to reiterate what I always say. Be gentle. Be very gentle when using these tools because if you push the brush in too much, it can hurt and we never want it to hurt. But using the pin brush only when you have conditioner on the body, not shampoo and not when it's dry or wet, but just when it's conditioner wet is amazing because it will get all these hairs, these loose hairs out. It will save you so much time later. Look at the amount of hair I'm getting out and this is not even shedding season. This is a normal time. And we do this pretty often. So we always maintain the coat as hair free as possible. I mean, I should say shedding free as possible, but yeah, really get into it. It's magic, you guys are not gonna believe how much hair comes out and also how easy it is to do because there's conditioner in the coat and it makes it painless for your pup. It's fantastic and keep adding more conditioner, it's okay. Just go through the process, brush, add conditioner till everything is completely done. Okay, it's time to rinse it all out, get all the conditioner out. You don't want anything left in there after you're done. So pay attention, take the time and get all the conditioner out as much as possible using room temperature water. This makes Titus happier. Okay, so the next thing is usually the most sensitive part for dogs. It's washing the face. So you can see I'm reiterating this process with treats, with affection, with a very calm state of mind. And this way, they actually enjoy it or at least go through it without hating the process. So the first thing I do, kisses of course, but after that is wetting the face cloths thoroughly and applying a little bit of this diluted face wash, just a tad, it doesn't need much, and then squeezing out the towel as much as you can so it doesn't have dripping water. And you start washing the face, be gentle here and do it everywhere. You don't want to go on top of the eyes, you want to go around the eyes, around the ears, and the whole face, the muzzle, everything, and just hold your other hand on the other side to control it and give them affection and really spend that time with your pup connecting and you'll be surprised that they'll actually, they will like it, you know, they won't hate it and just don't forget the treats, it always helps. You also want to keep in mind not to put water in their ears. It's not good for them and they don't like it. So that's why I don't spray any water next to their ears because it's not a good thing to do. After that, I rinse the face cloth thoroughly, give some extra treats, 
squeeze that face cloth out properly and I use it to rinse the face again with the same process like shampooing the face. So I do the same thing thoroughly and I do it twice. So once shampooing, twice rinsing and if you feel like you need another round you can do that too. But this really cleans up the face and you don't need to be putting them through a dramatic experience because spraying water on a dog's face is not necessarily a good thing. So using a face cloth and using as minimal amount of soap as possible or shampoo as possible is good and using a soap that doesn't hurt. Okay, here comes the shake Kimari, a snack for a shake. Get all that water out, come on girl. There you go, there you go. Let's see Titus's shake, what he got. Okay, always a snack for a shake, that's how it goes. There we go. We usually ask him to do this twice and it really helps out with not having five five towels per pup you know it really really helps so after that i use a towel to first wipe the face because that's their most sensitive part where they don't like water and then i go through the entire coat of wiping it, it usually takes about two towels per pup to get the most of the water out and i also remember to do their paws their legs everything as much as possible because huskies do retain a lot of water in their coat Titus is the only one that loves getting his coat blown out. He really, really likes it. It gets a bit more of the hair out, but he just generally enjoys it. The girl is not so much, so we just use some extra towels to dry them, but it works pretty well too. After that, we clean up after ourselves, remove towels, any extra hair, wipe after ourselves, simply because it's the right thing to do. And remember, positive experiences makes for a easy return and enjoy it more even more next time and we're going home now and this is what happens when we get home Bye.